Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This session is actually a continuation of the internal features of the spinal cord, the grey matter and the posterior horn. Okay, so uh, in the previous session I have done about the details of the anterior horn and the uh, intermediate uh, region of the grey matter. Now we are going to the posterior horn of grey matter. So posterior horn, uh, the code for the posterior horn is very dynamic possessive sister pearl. So V stands for the visceral afferent nucleus. Uh, D stands for the nucleus dorsalis, then P stands for the nucleus proprius, it is actually the biggest mass in the posterior column, then S stands for substantia gelatinosa, we have already mentioned substantia gelatinosa around the central canal, that was substantia gelatinosa centralis, but here it is substantia gelatinosa of Rolando, and this P, pearl, P stands for postromarginal nucleus. So this nucleus usually is not mentioned in many of the books when they discuss about the posterior horn of the grey matter. But I would like to add this because when we talk about Rex laminar architecture, it will be easy for you to understand where this is located. So usually most of the books, substantia gelatinous of Rolando is actually considered as the apical portion of the posterior horn. But this postromarginal nucleus or substantia marginalis it's actually a thin rim to over the substantia gelatinosa of Rolando. Now let's see uh, the functions of each or where you will look for all these things. So the visceral efferent nucleus, visceral efferent nucleus are carrying actually the efferent impulses from the viscera. So viscera can be the organs, the blood vessels, the glands, whatever. So uh, the visceral Info information, the efferent impulses will be reaching and they will be actually uh, concerned with uh, the pain in the form of stretch, contraction and relaxation of the organs, uh, pain, uh, temperature. So all these uh, sensations uh, will be carried by the visceral impulses, the efferent impulses and these will be reaching the visceral efferent nucleus and where will you look for all these nuclei they they can be seen in the t1 to l2 segment as well as s2 to s4 you know that this is the autonomic nervous system right so the uh, thoracolumbar outflow and say, uh, cranio, uh, craniosacral the sacral component of the craniosacral outflow the parasympathetic as well as sympathetic please see the previous video so that you will get a continuity for the same so this is actually seen uh, in these regions. So the visceral efferent nuclei you have to look for in this region because it is not seen throughout the spinal cord. Then the next group is known as uh, nucleus dorsalis. Where will you look for the no nucleus dorsalis? This is somewhat medial compared to the visceral efferent nucleus and this you can look for in the region C8 to L2. C8 to L2 means the region supplying the trunk and lower limb from C8 to L2. So the upper limb is out. So this will be confined to the trunk and lower limb and this will be carrying sensations from these regions especially the position uh, sense, the touch, the uh, proprioception. So all these sensations will be carried onto this nucleus dorsalis and from these from this nucleus dorsalis it will ascend up as the dorsal spino cerebellar tract that is the fibers from this nucleus dorsalis are going to the cerebellum in the form of dorsal spino cerebellar tract we will see the tracts in detail but for the time being Nucleus dorsalis is seen uh, in the spinal cord from C8 to L2 and that is actually uh, connected to the trunk and lower limb and these fibers will be carrying the sensations from the trunk and lower limb especially the senses like the position, the touch sensation, uh, the proprioception all these fibers will be carried into the nucleus dorsalis and from this nucleus dorsalis the next set of neurons will be ascending up as the dorsal spino cerebellar tract into the cerebellum. So that is about the nucleus dorsalis. Now the next group is our nucleus proprius. I have already mentioned that when I when you see the dotted black line it means it is seen throughout the spinal cord isn't it so it is nucleus proprius so it is seen along the length of the spinal cord and it is actually carrying 
touch and pain sensations. So the fibers from the dorsal root will enter and will relay in the uh, nucleus proprius. Okay, and that is actually uh, giving a contribution to the formation of spinothalamic tract. So this nucleus proprius, uh, when we talk about the dorsal root fibers, they are actually divided into a lateral group and medial group. Okay, so the lateral group of fibers are actually relying in the nucleus proprius. And some books even say they are first entering into the substantia gelatinous of Rolando and some fibers synapse there itself or sometimes they pass uh, through the substantia gelatinous of Rolando into the nucleus proprius. So there are uh, different thoughts about how these lateral set of fibers uh, from the dorsal nerve root enters into the nucleus proprius. So they are again carrying pain and temperature sensations. So they are seen throughout the spinal cord that is very very important and the, uh, they are actually uh, contributing to the formation of spinothalamic tract. Now the next group is substantia gelatinous of Rolando. This is actually a translucent uh, transparent region uh, gelatinous region where you get the neurons and they are actually receiving fibers uh, from the lateral set of the dorsal nerve root fibers okay so this is the dorsal root and this is the ventral root so the sensory, sensory nerves are actually entering into the spinal cord through the dorsal root and they are actually divided into a medial and lateral group of fibers the lateral group of fibers enter into the substantia gelatinosa previously it was believed that it is uh, it is the substantia gelatinosa of Rolando which is giving rise to the spinothalamic tract but later studies later experiments proved that it is not purely the substantia gelatinosa of Rolando so some of the fibers relay here and some of the interneurons connected with the proprius or sometimes it just passes through the substantia gelatinous of Rolando in order to reach the nucleus proprius. So that's about uh, the substantia gelatinous of Rolando and they are actually carrying pain and temperature. One important thing I would like to mention here is when we discussed about the sections of medulla Please see those sections. Uh, we can we have seen that the some of the fibers uh, in the medulla are cutting this posterior horn, and this is actually getting converted into the spinal nucleus of trigeminal, spinal nucleus and tract of trigeminal. So it is the substantia gelatinosa of Rolando which is getting converted into uh, the spinal nucleus and tract of trigeminal. So please view that session the session on the medulla the different levels of medulla there you can see that the internal arcuate fibers actually they are actually cutting off this portion so this is actually continuing upwards in the form of spinal nucleus and tract of trigeminal so in the medulla you won't be seeing the posterior column the substantia gelatinosa so instead you will be seeing this part which is actually the continuation of the substantia gelatinosa of Rolando now uh, the last one it is usually not mentioned in most of the books that is the postro marginal nucleus and again it is carrying pain and uh, temperature sensations one of the interesting aspect here is uh, this is actually uh, getting connected to lysios tract lysios tract are the tracts which are confined to the spinal cord they will be just connecting the different segments of the spinal cord Okay, and it is said that the pain carried to this region of the grey matter of spinal cord. Um, roughly, if you take uh, the pain from burns, some of the pain from burns will be carried to this region. So, if the fibers from burn, bur burns are carried to this region, what happens is the pain due to this cannot be modulated if they are terminating in this region so cannot be modulated means even if you have some analgesics that pain won't be uh, cured you will you won't get it relieved the that is one of the striking feature of this region so the uh, the pain fibers from the regions where you have burns if if they are carried to this region instead of the other regions which we have already mentioned these all these fibers are all these nuclei are receiving pain and temperature sensations right so if the pain sensation is carried to this region that pain cannot be modulated that is what is said usually the pain from burns are uh, more prone to enter this region 
so that is why it is said that it is very difficult to uh, mod uh, modulate some of the pains which people suffer from burns so that is one of the some of the striking features of this region apart from that it is not a bigger thing compared to the uh, rest of the nuclei of the posterior horn so you know all the, how the neurons are arranged in the posterior horn the visceral efferent nucleus the dorsal nucleus uh, nucleus dorsalis nucleus proprius which is the main bulb then substantia gelatinosa of rolando which is actually forming the cap or the apical portion and a very thin rim of posterior marginal nucleus or substantia marginalis so out of all these five we can see that uh, the nucleus proprius substantia gelatinosa of rolando and the posterior marginal nucleus these three these will you will get throughout the spinal cord okay that is one of the important things you have to remember in the posterior column these three things you will get these three group of nuclei you will get wherever you take a section of the spinal cord whereas the visceral efferent will be seen t1 to l2 and s2 to s4 and uh, the nucleus dorsalis will be seen in the region ca to l2 that point you have to remember so that's all about the gray matter of spinal cord uh, in the next session uh, i'll be just correlating how the rex lamina is seen in relation with the gray matter so thanks for watching those who haven't subscribed please do subscribe so that i will get motivated to do more and more videos thank you so much leave your comments if you find it useful